to start showing you guys how to do um, like the dice out of the wood blocks. Um, so I have a Yardsy order that somebody requested and I wanted to do them actually with the burned dots. Um, I feel like they last longer than doing them with the vinyl. So I have my um, dice right here that I'm going to use for knowing which direction my um, dots are going to go in. And I have this tool here. I just purchased it from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think they're originally like 20 bucks, but I had um, a coupon and it comes with this little round head here. So I'm going to use that. Now you need to heat this up and you got to turn the dial all the way over to the red. And so this has five dots. So I'm going to just um, put the dots on here. So this is actually a four by four. Um, and I cut it down into three and a half by three and a half inch blocks, um, which I guess you can say is a four by four block, but they don't actually measure a full four inches. They're actually 3.5. So um, I sanded them down. If you could tell, this is the end that I cut. I used a belt sander. Um, I feel like that is the best option. You can leave it on the table and you can actually turn it and make sure you get these nice and smooth. So um, we're going to just take this on here and we're going to push down. You might actually see um, some uh, smoke or you know fumes like that coming up, which is normal. Um, so you just hold it here for a few seconds and then you let it go and you get that burn dot look. So I'm going to do that. Now it can be very time consuming because um, the actual tool will actually start to um, not stay as hot the entire time. So I feel like I have to set it down and then wait and do it again. So um, that's just another thing to keep in mind when you're burning these. I do recommend um, after you burn them to give them a sealer. Um, you can use a polyurethane on them. It'll um, actually absorb into the wood and it'll protect it. So if people are playing and the grass is kind of moist, then, um, you know, that moisture won't absorb into your wood as easy. And if you get one and it's not as dark, just put the dot back over top and just hold it down a little bit longer. And then I'm going to do this one. And what I'm going to do is once I finish this one, I'm going to take my dice and I'm going to flip it towards me. So then I have the three. And you want to make sure that you do these accurately because um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, all the sides add up to a certain number. So you don't want to, um, you know, put maybe a three on the side here because then it wouldn't add up to the right number when you have them um, and you're playing. So I just flip it and that's what I'm going to do the entire time I do this um, dice project. Now these can be used for anything from Yardsy or Farkle or um, if you want to play left, right, center. Um, there's a variety you can do. However, um, just be prepared that some of them can be copyrighted. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't, um, you know, overstep your bounds and, um, advertise something that's copyrighted. And I also feel like these, um, you know, look a lot neater than the painted ones. The painted ones, you have to do a couple coats. I've also noticed that, um, they will uh, stick together in the heat if the if they're sitting in the bucket. So um, I really like the burned dots better. So now I'm going to turn this again and I'm on number two. So I'm just going to finish the rest of these up and then we can uh, show you the rest of this tutorial.